Today, we're in the early stages of what Andrew McAfee and I called the second machine age. The first machine age allowed machines to take over a lot of the work of human muscles. Now, in the second machine age, machines are beginning to automate and augment the human mind. Science fiction technologies are becoming reality day after day after day. We believe that this technological progress, this surge that we're seeing, is going to change the economy, is going to change the business world, is actually going to change our societies uh, starting now and then probably increasing in the future. The entire uh, way that we consume the world in terms of information has been completely upended by social technologies. We're seeing this explosion of AI and data and these automatic systems. And we've never had anything like that before. It always has been people that ran things. The technology advancement is inevitable and its ability to be used for both good and evil, so to speak, is also inevitable. Technology is a very disruptive factor. In many ways, it's destroying a lot of jobs. But on the other hand, it's creating a lot of jobs. Just as farmers became uh, industrial workers, so must we make some dramatic changes. One of the challenges we're facing today is that about half the population in the United States and other developed countries has not shared in this bounty that the second machine age is bringing. Who will lose jobs? Who will gain jobs? And how can we reskill people to make sure that this digital transformation leaves no one behind. These are the questions that weren't asked, but that we ask in order to understand how human beings make choices in a digitally mediated world. One of the missions of the Initiative on the Digital Economy is to help us understand how we can use these amazing technologies to shape our own destiny, to shape our future. The Initiative on the Digital Economy has five core activities. MIT is a massive research institution, so we put a high priority on doing the, the best cutting edge research that we can. We are very focused on solution driven research and we're also very focused on creating deliverables or outcomes that are not just knowledge and insight, but actionable strategies. A number of companies are, are doing what we call sponsored research, and we match a company up with a principal investigator at MIT, and they conduct a directed research project. When we can find that perfect match, it makes for a very powerful set of outcomes. With the rigor that we employ here, and the talent that we have, we can gain true understanding and insight into not just how human beings and machines are interacting now, but what the implications are for 10, 15, 20 years down the line and beyond. The second core activity of the IDE is events. We convene the very best minds in the field. We've got the very best economists, the very best social scientists, the best computer scientists, people from industry, policymakers, and a brilliant set of students that are working with us to address the big challenges of the next decade. The third core activity for IDE is education. We run an analytics action lab learning class um, where we have teams of students at the Sloan School of Management tackling a big data analytics project. We run executive education programs. They're all online and digitally delivered. One of the most fundamental things we can do is reinvent education. We need to rethink how we do education so we are enabling and letting blossom the kind of creative energy that most people already have. Our fourth core activity at IDE is digital fellowships. So these are people who come and spend time with us, whether that be a month or six months or a year. They come from industry, they come from press, uh, they come from other academic institutions. It's a great way for us to get new insights, new ideas, new experiences into our team. Our final core activity within the IDE is the Inclusive Innovation Challenge. The Inclusive Innovation Challenge is essentially the solutions arm of the Initiative on the Digital Economy. We give away over a million dollars in prizes to organizations that are using technology to really address a grand challenge of our time. So what we're trying to encourage and celebrate is the next wave of job creating, wage increasing, innovation and entrepreneurship that, that uses technology. There are people across the country and across the world that we know are using technology to innovate and to create shared prosperity. What we need to be doing is giving people who are displaced 
by the forces of globalization and automation the best possible chance to re-enter the workforce at at least as good a level economically as where they left it. If we do the right things, this could be the best thing that ever happened to humanity. We're going to have more wealth, better health, and widely shared prosperity. The question isn't what the technology is going to do, it's what we do with technology.